All states require auto insurance liability coverage. Liability coverage consists of bodily injury liability, which pays for the other person's medical bills if they're injured in an accident that was your fault, and property damage liability, which pays for any damage you do to someone else's property. But liability coverage is just one of several coverage options available, and liability coverage will not pay for damage to your car from theft or fire. There is only one way to be sure that you are covered in the event of a fire or theft. It sounds simple, but it's something that people rarely do. Check your policy. When you look at your policy, check to see whether you have comprehensive coverage. Comprehensive coverage protects you against damages to your car that are the result of damage not related to a collision or from something that you had no control over. Think of a scenario that could cause damage to your car that has nothing to do with colliding with another vehicle or object and that you could not have prevented. Losses covered under comprehensive coverage can include theft, vandalism, fire, natural disasters like a hurricane or a tornado, falling objects, damage done to your car by animals, a civil disturbance like a riot that results in damage or destruction of your car. Minimal car insurance is typically heavily dependent on your age and your driving record. However, fire and theft coverage is much less influenced by these factors. You also have a better chance of getting a great rate if you install anti-theft devices on your car. Another important item to take into account is the car you drive. The more expensive it is, the higher price you will have to pay. This is because this type of insurance is designed to replace your vehicle. Your car insurance company will determine the replacement value of your car and take into account its age and condition. This means that if your car gets stolen or damaged in a fire, the money given to you by your insurer may not be as much as you expect. The value of your car depreciates very quickly starting from the second you leave the car lot. If the insured value of your vehicle is less than you owe, you could end up owing the finance company the difference. Also, with a deductible on your fire and theft insurance policy, you'll receive the amount that the insurance company determines is the value of your car less your deductible. This is a very important factor to take into consideration when setting your deductible. In the long run, it may be wiser to pay a little more for your insurance in order to receive a larger amount if something happens to your car.